Hey everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome to the Pink Camera and today is Mixed Media Monday. So this is just taking traditional scrapbooking and mixing the mixed media into it. So it could be anything from using modeling paste to watercolor, just using different mediums and with your traditional scrapbooking. So I'm just showing you some of the products that I pulled to you today. Uh, there's lots of the Chamel Star Shine, I want to say, collection. Um, and then the Hall Pass collection by American Crafts. So I took out this piece of paper that's got this kind of um, diamond shaped kind of pattern to it. And I'm going over top of it with some gesso with, this is a silicone brush by Prima. It's a really good brush if you're worried about um, getting gunk on your brushes. It does not stick at all. It's like a little rubber spatula kind of thing. So I had a little bit too much, so I'm just taking it off with a palette knife and just scraping it off a little bit. I'm gonna let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna take another piece of paper from the Hall Pass collection, um, which is this beautiful one. I believe it's called Roses. And I'm taking my gelatos out, and I haven't used these gelatos in a long time, so I'm kind of excited to pull them out again. Uh, I'm taking a few colors here. I've got mostly blues and then a coral and a pink and then a kind of lime green and a yellow. And I, whenever I do leaves, I always usually mix in a little bit of a yellow in with a green. Um, it'll just give a little bit of a highlight color um, to the leaves rather than it being just a flat green. So it adds a nice little dimension to them. Um, not really being particularly careful. I'm just kind of filling in the flowers. I don't want to spend too much time. Uh, filling in um, and being particular. I just kind of like to color outside the lines. It gives it a really pretty watercolor look and for the amount that I use um, for this paper I wasn't really concerned because it's going to get covered up by this picture of me and my daughter. So this was when we went to uh, see Beyonce and it was freezing. <laughs> so anyway, um, moving on, I have this Heidi Swap stencil. I believe it is uh, Starburst or something like that. And I'm taking the color Bloom Mist. This is, I believe, the Sunshine or uh, Sunshine Yellow, I believe is the color. And I kind of sprayed that just really lightly over it. I always prop up, this is kind of a really good little technique for you, is if you have the heat guns, I just prop it up into like a box or something like that and I'll have like a, actually have a water bottle in this box uh, and what I'll do is put the water bottle kind of behind the hair dryer so that way it's propped up enough so that way it's still um, hitting onto that paper so that way I can still work instead of just holding the heat gun. Um, to make everything dry. I'm very impatient. So this is kind of a way for me to be a little bit more productive. So you can see I took that paper, that rose paper that I had colored in, and now I ripped off some of the edges just to give it a little bit of a nicer kind of unfinished edge. And then I'm taking that blue pattern paper and doing the same thing. Now the lines are not straight and that's totally okay with me. I really like that um, kind of imperfect look to this whole page so and then I ripped off a piece of the stargazer paper as well um, I'm also outlining the starburst with a, a black pen it's a 0.3 and this is a um, what's the it's a Stadler uh, I can't remember the name of it but it is a really 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 good um, pen for going over top of mediums. It just it glides really nice. It's a great journaling pen. It is waterproof when it's dry. So if you're an art journaler, that is a very, very big key. So I, once I found these, I, I'm really fortunate. I think I have like seven of them because I'm, I'm scared I'm going to lose them. Um, so after I trimmed down this piece of paper just so that I could mat it on another piece of paper, again from the Chamel line, and I'm just going to uh, go around that with that same black pen and uh, just to kind of define the line. It's just going to make a really nice frame for it. And then it's going to also bring in that doodling that I've already been doing anyway. So I'm going through the die cuts from the Chamel pack as well. And I'm just going to kind of find ones that kind of work for it. So I've already pulled those ones out. And I'm just going to start laying everything down and uh, let's see. So I'm starting to glue that down and then just creating some really nice layering 
with each of these die cut pieces. So I have some that really went and I didn't really honestly know if this collection was going to go for this picture. And it really did because it was my daughter and I went to go see Beyonce. So it was like away we go. There was like little ticket stubs. There was like these little kind of tags. It was just like really kind of like a perfect collection and it and it goes so well with the, the pictures of the picture of me and my daughter so it was kind of funny that way uh, so I'm just kind of adding some uh, dimension by adding these pop dots on top of this one piece I'm not ready to commit to it but I will adhere it down with that um, these are the acrylic shapes from Chamel as well and I'm just uh, attaching those into the top uh, right corner of this whole little cluster area that I have going on. There's not really going to be any other clustering other than just kind of centralized around this picture. So just looking through the sticker sheets and looking at some of the uh, papers, there's these really kind of transparent flowers. I really like them so I'm going to use those and put those down underneath just to kind of add a nice little soft kind of girly kind of touch and then my simple title is going to be you and me so nothing fancy about that uh, and then I'm going to take some of these pieces from the pink fresh these are the epoxy stickers and I'm going to start adding those in and I took these two ticket stubs and I kind of uh, stapled them together and then I'm going to take the epoxy frame and kind of tuck it underneath that little away we go and then it's going to kind of help frame those tickets in as well. And then I'm just trying to find something that's going to fill in that shape. There's like a little awkward spot towards the bottom right. So I'm kind of keeping that in mind that I need to fill in that awkward shape. And these are stickers from the Chamel uh, collection as well. Um, all these supplies are in the shop so if you're interested you can check out thepinkcamera.com and if you go over to the section that says the shop you'll find all the new supplies there so and then the last thing I'm going to add is this pink fresh chipboard sticker and I believe it says today or enjoy today or something like that I can't remember exactly just some quick journaling and that's going to finish off this layout so thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to come back here tomorrow to find out what's going on over at the blog I'll talk to you soon. Bye.